This is Aaron True with MMA Prime TV, and today Bama USA and Brett Roberts have arranged the grand opening of the training center, Rain MMA with Mark Minos. Tell us about the grand opening, what we got going on today. Oh man, this is uh, just, it's an awesome turnout, man. Um, you know, I just had an all-star lineup. You know, people had, you know, people saw demonstrations, we had giveaways. It was just amazing. It was an amazing opportunity, amazing environment for people to come see the, see the facility, see the demonstration, and the people and the staff that are here working. So. It's, you know, I'm blessed, man. It's it's so cool, man. And uh, and I appreciate you guys coming out, dude. You are my Casey Kasem. I look up to you every day. I Thank wake you. up to you in the morning. Cause I, I put it on your, your YouTube videos. You're, you're on repeat as I go to bed and as I wake up. And I see the kicks to the face. I see the punches to the face. And it just inspires me every day. Come here. Thank you. Make it official. Look at this face. I'm actually, I want to talk to these guys. How could you hurt this? It sucks. It's like you used Nivea. What do you use? Uh, I use the Mach 5. I didn't want a sponsorship for that too, Mach 5. Good and thing. as they said in Hot Shots Part 2, I'll be your wingman anytime. Bullshit. I'll be yours. That's not even right from Top Gun either. Aaron True, Ryan Loco, where's the wisdom? With the man, Ryan Loco, Tap Out Live, Fight Magazine, Jocko, all over the place. This is Aaron Shiro. I'm here with Miss Rara. Tell us a little bit about what we're doing today. Dude, we're, it's a celebration today. We're celebrating Mark Munoz opening Rain Training Center today. And it's a pretty good freaking turnout. This is for you guys, UD. Everyone want to see Aaron Shiro versus the Rupa Brothers. It's about to happen. This is Aaron True, and I want to thank BamaUSA.com, Brett Roberts. I also want to thank the Rupert Brothers for coming out. Can I get a commitment here, live on camera, that we can contribute footage to one episode of the coming up Logo Life? How about we just set the bar right now, set the standard, Lazy and Savage, Aaron True, Ryan Local Local Life. We're filming right now, you're on air. It's official, made Local Life finally. I'm even gonna do the fist pose, first time ever, just because I'm on Local Life. The list of accomplishments he was, Tap out, Max. Um, RJ Clifford. How you doing, man? Big Nog, you're coming off a disappointing loss. What are you doing back in the gym to get back on the championship track? Yeah, you know, it's just Monday I'll be back training. You know, I just come back for, I was took like three, three weeks off. And, uh, you know, fights fight. I went I went there to bang. I throw my punch to the guy, him. He throw his punch, we almost throw together, you know. My punch didn't connect, his punch connect. We are half weights, you know, he got my chin. Game is game, man. He's a, you know, very good fighter. You know, I, I lost one of the best guys in the world right now. He's, he's a true fighter. You know, I'm disappointed with this, with this result. But I, I see what I did wrong. And uh, I'll be back Monday, back training. You know, that's what the only thing I can do as just a fighter, you know. So I got to improve my what I did wrong. And for sure, I'll be back better. This is Aaron True with MMA Prime TV. I'm here with title contender Uriah Faber. Tell us about the fight you have coming up at WEC. Uh, fighting Jose Aldo. He's the champ right now, very tough dude, and I uh, plan on taking him out. How much would it mean to you to get your belt back? Uh, it means everything, man. I'm, I'm, uh, you know, I'm in this sport to be the best, so uh, that's what that belt symbolizes, so I'm going to get it back. Can we get your prediction for the fight? Uh, I don't know exactly how it's going to go, but I know it's going to be exciting, and I know that uh, uh, I'm going to win. This is Aaron True. I'm here with Joseph Benavidez. You're coming off an impressive victory over Miguel Torres. Tell us how you feel. I feel on top of the world, man. It's, uh, it's an amazing night for me uh, last Saturday. And uh, it's just a fight I envisioned, you know, in my head so many times. Ever since I got in the WC, I wanted to fight a guy like Miguel and test myself. And, you know, it was just an honor to find him, go out there and get the win in the fashion I did. You know, it's just unbelievable. So, feeling great. Do you have a title shop coming up next at 135? Have you been told yet? I uh, haven't been told, you know, uh, you know, everything's brand new right now. 
But uh, I'm really hoping for a title shot, I'm looking to go in there and uh, avenge my only loss and get the title. And you know, I'd be disappointed if there's anything else. I, I feel I've proved I was the number one contender since my loss took out two really good guys in impressive fashion. So uh, yeah, hoping for the title shot. What do you have to say about Dominic Cruz's remarks saying that he would beat you nine out of ten times? Uh, I think it just kind of came out of his mouth. He probably didn't know what else to say. You know, maybe a little excited. I think he knows. I know for sure he can beat me nine out of ten times. Uh, I think I had a bad night. Uh, the night that he did beat me and he had the greatest fight of his life so uh, you know he's a great fighter you know uh, he's, he's a good champion he's a really great style and uh, you know I'm looking forward to going there and mixing up again and proving him, proving him wrong. This is Aaron Shrew with WEC 135 title contender Joseph Benavidez. Congratulations on a great victory over Miguel Torres. Thank you guys. Yeah it's King Mo at MMAprime.tv y'all can catch me in Nashville Tennessee on CBS April 17th Taking the belt from Musashi. That's all I gotta say. Tune in and watch it happen.